the anatomy of IP addresses, online identities. Every system which is connected to the internet has a unique internet protocol address or IP address associated with itself. An IP address basically acts as a unique identity of a computer which has been connected to the internet and the IP address is basically a computer's identity on the internet at which it can be contacted. So if I want to contact your computer on the internet, I first need to find out your computer's IP address. So all data sent or received by a particular computer will be addressed from or to to that particular computer's IP address. So an IP address is basically to your computer what your cell phone number is to you in the real world that is an identity at which you can be contacted. Now how many of you listening to this lecture have this bad habit of giving out your cell phone number to every single stranger that you meet on the streets? Can I see hands? I'm glad that nobody really likes to give out their cell phone number to every single stranger on the streets. However, on the other hand, how many of you listening to this lecture actually take the necessary precautions to protect your IP address on the internet? Can I see hands again? And this is the kind of reaction that I get absolutely everywhere. Very few people, even people from technical backgrounds, do not really take the necessary precautions to protect their IP address on the internet. Your IP address is as important as your cell phone number. Because as soon as your IP address gets into the hands of the bad guys, they can at least start the process of trying to break into your computer. So protecting your IP address is extremely, extremely important. And later in this course, all of us will be discussing how we can actually protect our IP address on the internet. Now, at the same time, it is very important to understand that each and every attacker who wants to break into your computer, the first step that he is going to implement or execute is to find out your computer's IP address. This is what makes protecting your IP address all the very more important. So what exactly is an IP address and what exactly does it actually look like? What is the structure of an IP address? An IP address is a basically a 32-bit address which is divided into four fields of eight bits and each field will only contain numbers between 1 and 255. For example, a typical IP address is something like 203, that's the first eight bits, dot 94, second eight bits, dot 35, the third eight bits, dot 12, which is the fourth and final eight bits. So each eight bit is sort of separated or differentiated from the remaining eight bits with the help of a full stop or a period. And in total, an IP address is 32 bits long and there are four smaller subsections and each smaller subsection is eight bits in length. Now by simply studying an IP address, it is actually very easy for absolutely any attacker to find out more information about the network and various other properties of that particular network to which the IP address belongs. Now IP addresses are basically classified into a number of ranges or classes as shown on the screen. Class A IP addresses are basically IP addresses that will have the range or will lie within the range of 0 .0 0 .0 0.0.0.0 to 126.255.255.255. Class B of IP addresses would be those IP addresses that lie between 128.0.0.0 to 191.255.255.255 and similarly class C, class D and class E of IP addresses 
have the various ranges or classes which they actually belong to. So say for example, if you have an IP address which is 203.94.35.12, now immediately you know that this IP address belongs to class C of IP addresses. And this you can actually find out by simply looking at the first 8 bits, which in this case is 203. And if you look at this table of different IP address classes, you can immediately figure out that this IP address is a class C IP address and belongs in the third category, which is class C. Now, using this class information, you can easily find out more information or more details about the network to which the IP address belongs. For example, if it's a class A IP address, then usually the first 8 bits are the network ID of the IP address and the remaining 24 bits are the host ID of the IP address. Similarly, in class C for example, the first 24 bits are the network ID and the last 8 bits are the host ID of the IP address. So coming back to our example of an IP address which is 203.94.35.12, previously we figured out that this IP address is a class C IP address. Now that you know that the IP address is a class C IP address, then all you need to do is look at this table and you can easily figure out that the first 24 bits which in this case would be 203.94.35 are the network ID part of the IP address. On the other hand, the last 8 bits, which in this case is number 12, is actually the host ID of that particular IP address. So by just looking at an IP address and comparing that IP address and analyzing that IP address along with the two tables that were just shown on the screen, you can easily figure out more information about the structure of the IP address and the kind of network that the IP address actually belongs to. Because for example, if the IP address is a class C IP address, you know that the first 24 is the, of course, the network ID and the remaining 8 bits is the host ID. So you can easily figure out the number of hosts that are part of the target network or could be a part of the target network. So when you're trying to attack the target network, you can now actually guess the different IP addresses of the target network. Now usually, most IP addresses are actually written in the decimal notation form. However, it is also possible to write an IP address in various other donations. For example, the domain name www.yahoo.com can also be written in the following formats. First of all is the of course the decimal notation which is 87.248.113.14. So now if you were to start your browser and if you try typing yahoo.com, of course the yahoo.com website will be displayed on the screen. However, instead of typing yahoo.com which is a domain name, you can actually instead type the IP address of that computer as well which is 87.248.113.14. If you type that, press enter, once again the Yahoo homepage will be displayed on the screen. Similarly, instead of typing the also type 